Welcome to Bellevue, to the Mad River and Nickel Plate Museum. It's my first time here. As you can see, they got a lot of equipment from various different railroads, like the Wabash. 765 is down there. Our member's day is today. A few minutes ago, I saw a Cord Duesenberg here, but it seems to have vanished. But I was going to show it on uh, video, because I thought it was the craziest thing to find one of those all the way over here. Anyway, so far Bellevue's architecture kind of reminds me of uh, Rome City up in Indiana. It's an old Wabash. It's an old Wabash locomotive. It looks like we got a watchtower, not unlike the one in Garrett. Ouch. They seem to have a lot more equipment, but uh, not as much running room, or maybe they do, I'm not sure. Norfolk and Western. B&O Caboose. The rear wagon top caboose. Pause it if you need to. <sighs> Dang sweat bees. <sighs> Sorry. And then you have a, a big hook, as they call them, or a derrick crane, a wrecker crane, for railroad purposes. They would use them for picking up racks and derailments, various things. It's not unlike the one we have at the Fort Wayne Railroad. sure what all the hubbub is about. It's a pretty neat museum. It's got a garden here. <laughs> Nickel plate caboose. And we have a plow, we have one of those too, but it's not in anywhere near as good a shape. Okay. Sitting off on one of the tracks. Oh, okay. What did they do? Did they pump steam into it to blow the whistle? Must have. <laughs> Norfolk and Western. Huh. <laughs> How did I did actually think about it. I was going to sleep one night. Pardon me, sir. How's it going? Oh, not too bad. It was torture trying to get here. Yeah. A lot of turns.
And then there is the whole aim for this uh, meetup, 50th anniversary, when they brought 757 back. It inspired our group, or eventually inspired our group to restore 765 to running order, or so the story goes. they do uh, wire in the other locomotive to 765? Yeah, well, they hook the hose up between them and then put a plate in there to keep the steam from escaping so they okay. can uh, blow the whistle on the sun. But oh, okay. Yeah. 765 steam. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. They also have the Mars light working, or they did. Yeah. I guess I can zoom it out. What's that? I said I guess I can zoom this out. Yeah. Malachi, howdy. <laughs> Formerly Penn Central. Howdy. Well, it doesn't look like much uh, else is going on at the moment. They're going to probably try to bring the pressure up on the whistle on 757, but two Berkshires. A rare sight in this day and age. The meetups aren't as common as they once were. And not like when you had them in service. This is actually where 765 started out. Um, its career from Lima, it started out in Bellevue and then was moved up to Fort Wayne, or New Haven actually. But these are two Berkshires that survived being cut up for scrap, thankfully. 